Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm David Bird with Reality Reimagined. I'm an award-winning photographer and Photoshop artist that specializes in fantasy composite art. Even though I specialize in composites, the next genre that is near and dear to my heart is gelled photography, specifically glamour photography. I absolutely love telling the scene of shape, form, sensuality, and beauty all through the use of color as the main lighting pattern. This was truly the main reason that I was excited for the launch of Oniric because the major missing piece to my gelled glamour artwork was that beautiful glow and the streaks of light that only Oniric can produce. I've been creating in Photoshop for over 20 years and I have never been able to create this style and I am truly thankful for Oniric. It has single-handedly changed my artwork forever. When version 1.0 hit, I immediately dived in, exploring every way that I could take advantage of Oniric to produce the visions from my imagination. And one area that Oniric struggled in was with the light streaks. Depending upon the luminosity values within the image, I was not quite getting that solid definition to the light streaks that I saw for the final artwork. Well, folks, all of that has changed with version 1.1. Before we dive into Photoshop and Oniric, I would like to humbly ask for your help in growing the channel on YouTube. If you like the content you find today, please give the video a like and consider subscribing. Two new in-depth tutorials on gelled glamour photography and Oniric will be debuting later this week. So make sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of that new content when you return to YouTube. I appreciate your support, and now let's hit the one to the one Oniric style in the photoshops. And I'm not even going to make a joke about that transition dialogue because I really want to get into Photoshop. This is the gel glamour image that we're going to be using for today's video. This is Savannah, and you can see more of her amazing work by visiting her Instagram account at the link below. And I would also be remiss if I didn't tell you now, I'm sure I will say it at the end of the video, that you can pick up your copy of Oniric by visiting compositenation.com. There is a link to the website in the video description below here on YouTube. So this image has been retouched, it's been artistically enhanced. This is the final version of the image, but Oniric has not been used on it. I produced this work before Oniric 1.0 launched. So we're going to run Oniric twice onto this. The first level of Oniric is gonna be just for the glow itself. And then the second one will be for the light streaks. And that's where we're gonna see one of the major, amazing, juicy, wonderful things that's in version 1.1 that I'm so excited for. So first and foremost, let's just go ahead and click generate and it's gonna take us into Oniric. Now, if you're new to Oniric and have not seen this, Essentially, it's going to convert this 16-bit image into an 8-bit form because it runs a little bit faster there and is able to produce the results just a little bit quicker. Oniric does a lot under the hood. So depending upon the speed of your computer, it may run a little bit faster, but if it runs a little bit longer, that's okay. It's not a reflection of Oniric or your computer. It's just doing a lot under the hood to be able to produce this very unique look. So the first thing I need to do is to see what Oniric sees as far as the luminosity values are concerned for the image. So I'm going to click X-ray here, which will show me a luminosity mask, so to speak. Anything in green is what Oniric sees as a strong light source. As I increase the threshold, I'm letting Oniric find more light within the image to take effect. So I think this is a pretty good start. So now I'm going to uncheck X-ray. It takes us back into a live view of the image itself. Now I'm going to increase the overall exposure. I'm I'm going to bring it up roughly about 50 uh, ish and see where that gets us. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I love that I can see a little bit of that, that beautiful blue glow that's coming in from the blue gel that's boomed above her. I like what I see on the hands, but we have some hot spots within the image because these uh, the strip box with the orange light was just a little too close to her right hip, and that could potentially pull the audience's focus because this is just too strong. Now, I can work with the intensity here, this slider. I can work with radius to increase the overall glow, and it will expand outward. I can decrease the threshold. I can decrease the exposure, or... I can use the mask system that is built into Oniric and that received a major update in 1.1 and it's a wonderful update. So essentially I'm going to use the mask because what I want to do is I want the glow to be everywhere that we see it right now. I just want to minimize it on some of these hotspots. Specifically, I'm going to say her right hip. I don't mind the hotspot that we see here on her right shoulder and bicep. I don't mind it on her hands or over here. It's this hotspot on her hip that just is pulling too much focus focus for me. So I'm going to click a mask, which will enable the mask. Now, new to the mask system for 1.1, you start with your brush, which has a custom brush that's built into a Neuric that deals with pressure sensitivity. So if you're using a Wacom tablet or any other kind of pen tablet, 
your pen has pressure sensitivity, that brush will now take full advantage of that. You have an eraser tool to start erasing away what you paint into the mask. And then we have an invert option. So the mask system in Oniric is simply a, it's like a quick mask in Photoshop. So as you start painting, you will see the color red. That is Oniric's way of showing you Wherever you paint red is where Oniric will take place, wherever it saw the light within the image itself. So right now, I know I want it to be pretty much 95% of, of this image, I want to be painted red, except that her hip. I want that to be very minimal. So in 1.0, you didn't have this option, but with invert, right now the mask has no paint on it. If I click invert, it's going to fill the entire image with red. So now anywhere where Oniric saw light, it's going to take the Oniric effect, will take place on those areas, and we'll see it. So I can now just use the eraser tool and come right where pretty much where I know her hip is at, which is right here, and erase away the mask. Now I can come back to the brush and I can simply start painting very gently onto the hip. And I can give the Oniric effect right through her hip in this area, but very minimally because my brush is at a low flow. Once I'm done painting the mask, I'm going to click update. It'll take us back into that live view. And now that hotspot on her hip has been greatly reduced. I think this looks beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Again, if you're new to Oniric, if you're new to the channel and so forth, the Oniric effect can take a little bit of time to produce. It's doing a lot under the hood, depending upon the speed of your computer. Doesn't matter if you use a PC or a Mac, it just takes some time. Give it that time because it's converting the image from 8-bit back to 16-bit and producing this beautiful result. It produced this top layer here in a blending mode of screen and we have our beautiful glow. Now I'm gonna come and click the background layer and I'm going to do generate again. It'll take us back into Oniric and this time we're going to switch from doing the glow to going to the light streaks themselves. And this is where we get to see the part of the update that I, I'm just floored by because it 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 beautifully creates what my imagination has been seeking for so long with his artwork. So we're going to come up where it says diffuse and we're gonna switch now to streaks. And this is gonna switch over the uh, protocol and give us a few new controls. So instantaneously, again, if we click X-ray, we know that it sees all of this information as the light data. And I'm gonna uncheck Aniric and we already are starting to see some beautiful streaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase the threshold up to 50%, 0.51, that's fine so that it can see more light within the scene. This would be typical for Oniric 1.0, what you would see right now on the screen. So we, we see some of those nice definitions of the streaks where they terminate at the end, we're seeing those, the, that definition of that column of light, right? But this is about as far as it could go with 1.0. So you could work with the image and, and try to use some brushes and so forth to try to be able to produce some interesting effects, but ultimately you couldn't get much further than this. Now, in Oniric 1.1, there is a new option here, which is Streaks Detail. And as we increase this, I'm gonna take it all the way to 100, you'll see its full effect. We now have very defined patterns to the light streaks. They terminate very beautifully, they, they cascade down in the right ways. It, this is what I was looking for. And this has been produced. The creator of Oniric and Composite Nation, Mario Olvera, he, he brilliantly has done this and I, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to increase the radius just to give the light streaks even further play and coming out into the scene itself. I don't need to increase the overall exposure. I like what I see. The hotspot is still a little too hot, but keep in mind, we're going to use the two different layers of Oniric in conjunction with each other. They come with layer masks, so all I have to do is just gently reduce that hotspot because remember, the layer beneath will have the glow and that glow will be there and it'll come through into the scene. The last thing that I wanna do is I just wanna put a little bit of rotation into these streaks because if we look at the leading lines of this image, we can see that her shoulders have a little bit of a diagonal play. The hips definitely have a diagonal play into them with her right hip being popped. And so I wanna kind of use Oniric to accentuate that as far as the composition is concerned within the image. So I'm gonna put some rotation onto the light streaks. Let's go to like roughly 40-ish, like a, not a complete 45, but somewhere close to it. There we go, I dig it, it's beautiful. I'm gonna hit apply. We'll go back into Photoshop. Again, it takes some time to render all of this. You're seeing this as essentially kind of a, a faux live view, if you will. It's not 
actually doing it as you move all these sliders. Once you're done, it takes all of that information, produces those different effects on your actual document. And again, that can take some time because it will take the 16-bit image, put it to 8-bit to show you that live view, and then take you back to 16-bit once it renders all of these effects. Now we have these two glows. We have this top layer with our light streaks and then the bottom layer here with the glow themselves. So I'm going to come to the layer mask, hit B for brush, and I'm going to paint black onto this layer mask so that I can ultimately start taking away just a little bit of that glow that we see here that's just a little too strong, I think. So painting black at a flow of 5%, minimize it just a little bit so her tattoo can come through, and we can see some of the original definition of her body through there, and I'm just gonna take it back just a little bit right there on the edge, and done this quickly i could not have done this in the past with all of and i'm not saying this to be arrogant or facetious or with false modesty with all of my knowledge in photoshop i cannot produce this look it would take me an hour and some of my artwork of composites take me an hour it would take me an hour to figure out how to do this and oniric i can do it in less than five minutes and this is the image that i saw in my mind when I did this photo shoot. This is the style that I want to add to my artwork uh, with gel glamour photography specifically, as well as using it as in composite artwork and fantasy artwork itself. So let's have some final thoughts in the video and finish off today uh, talking about Oniric 1.1. Oniric is such a powerful program and it is such a unique effect to be able to produce this color and this light. I just, I've never been able to reproduce anything near to this in the 20 years that I've been working in Photoshop. And I am so excited to continue to find ways to use Oniric in my artwork, whether it be fantasy composites, gel photography, and beyond. I've had the pleasure of having some conversations with Mario, again, the owner and creator of Oniric uh, via Facebook Messenger. I know that he has some wonderful things in the works for future updates for Oniric, and he's been taking the community feedback uh, very seriously and, and making changes to the program based upon its users. I highly encourage you to visit compositenation.com. There's other tutorials there that can show you the potential uses of Oniric. I also encourage you to look at the description below in this video and go to Dustin Volcoma's channel on YouTube. He's a wonderful Photoshop artist, a wonderful 3D artist, and a great human being. And he's been a beta tester for Oniric since the beginning. He's got a great set of tutorials on it. Check out his information there. And if you're not convinced, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can see the two videos that are debuting this weekend. Here is kind of a sneak peek of the artwork that I'm going to show you how to produce using Photoshop and a custom set of brushes that I have created for Photoshop. And then you can use Oniric on top of it to be able to produce these final results. So if you like the content that you found today, please give the video a like. Please subscribe to the channel to see those tutorials and those videos. Go to compositenation.com to check out Dustin Volcoma. Look at Savannah's amazing artwork on Instagram. Thank you so much. And until next time, I will see you out there in the world of Photoshop with the beautiful glow of Oniric lighting the way. That was really cheesy, but I'm okay with it.